Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you guys are watching this video. Supreme Silver Stacker here with another video for you guys today. Uh, so in this video, guys, this is something, I want to do something a little bit more interesting, a little bit more fun. Um, and it's, it's going to be possibly even a series. If you guys do enjoy this video, perfect. Let me know if you guys do enjoy it at the very end once you watch this whole entire video. So um, before we go ahead and get started, guys, uh, we're already at 100 subscribers, so I really, truly appreciate it for uh, standing right there. I mean, being right there with us, guys, and following our journey of stacking silver and even stacking uh, pretty cool coins. You know, gold, I got platinum, so on and so forth. It's been a good exp uh, experience. I've only been stacking for uh, less than half a year, and we have been kicking butt. So this one is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, this video is going to be another unboxing, but it was an auction. So this lot was a pretty good sized lot that I did it. Uh, that I did uh, that I actually won on single demile. So I won this auction. And I want to go through every coin to see if I even broke even, if I was able to profit, or I was, uh, or I lost money. So this right here, uh, the auction ended at five hundred and sixty-three dollars to the exact point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox this package and see if we broke even or lost money or made money, profited. So we'll go see you guys. So this auction right here was on. Um, I did. I won this auction on Facebook, and let me open this up real quick without showing the address. But anyways, I won this auction in Facebook, and I bit. I bought from this guy before, but he had some very interesting coins, and I had to. Um, I had to win this auction. All right, guys. Excuse me. Uh, family came over unexpectedly and I had to stop everything that I was doing and put this away obviously and then uh, what I did was I came back and I did research on pretty much every single one uh, every single one of these coins except these two coins that I gonna need your guys' help on so this is the auction that we did and we purchased for 460 I mean 460 560 and uh, today we want to see if we even broke even did we lose money? Did we profit? Um, so I, what I did was I did my research on each individual coin, uh, seeing if there were any value, if there were you know key dates, ex uh, extraordinary coins, or if they're worth anything pretty much. And obviously the majority of this is silver, about 90%, 95% of this is silver. Uh, the majority, I mean, yeah, about 95% of the auction on this lot that I, that I won, the majority of it is silver. So we're gonna go through every single coin, and we're going to see if they're worth a damn. So right here, uh, again, I lost my tripod. I've been looking everywhere for it. Can't find it. So this will do, guys. Anyways, so we have five 1957 uh, Lincoln one penny uh, BU uh, pennies. And we have about five of these. Looked them up. They ain't worth very much. From my understanding, they are worth about, let me double check, 32 cents each. So we got five of these. And this right here is coming to, with five of these, it's coming to $1.60. So is isn't worth very much. And unless, uh, let me know if I'm wrong. I uh, want to hear you guys' opinions. I want to hear you guys' what you guys think. If you guys see anything like, hey, Joe, you're absolutely wrong. This is actually worth something a little bit more. Feel free to go down in the comment section and help you boy out. Remember, I am a newbie. I've just started stacking this year, started getting into coins. And then, uh, yeah. So anyways, from doing my research, this is worth about 32 cents a piece, so $1.60. And we got five of these. So we're gonna, wow. So we're gonna put that over there. And this corner. And then we come over here, we have 1970, I mean 1914, Republica, uh, Portugal, and we got 50, Sir, uh, centavos. So we got 50 centavos. This is silver right here. Looked it up right here. And this is a worth about uh, $8.90. $8.90. It is silver, not too much silver. Uh, but it's about $8, about almost $9 worth of silver. Now over here, where it's pretty interesting, 
we have an 1848 penny. This is an 1848 penny. Uh, very interesting. Very old. Talking about old, old. And anyways, we have an 1848 penny. Looked it up to this right here is worth about 20 bucks. Uh, now we have a 1964 JFK colorized. And I believe this is just a sticker, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it looks like a sticker. So this is a 1964, a little bit pretty good toning right here that it has uh, around here. And also the uh, opposite side. And this right here, we'll just call it 10 bucks. Uh, right now with silver, this is worth about 12 bucks, but eh, we'll just say 10. <sighs> All right, so right here we have a 1968 uh, PR67, uh, coin set so we have a the only thing that's worth pretty much uh, more than anything any of these coins is this 1968 a jfk 40% silver all of this is just you know uh, ain't worth too much but it's uncirculated very beautiful very great looking and this right here if I was to give a value looked it up did a little bit of research I seen these sell for about 10 to 15 bucks so let's just say 15 bucks, okay. Boom, 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 boom. So this is gonna be our finish section and we're gonna come across over here. Now over here we have our Mercury's. So we got our Mercury's over here. Um, yeah, we have our Mercury's over here and these Mercury's we have over seven of them. Uh, pretty decent condition, uh, none of them are actually uh, non-readable uh, all the dates all the dates you can pretty much see this one has a little bit of scratch over here some of them have good full rims um, and some don't uh, let me see that this one right here we got a rim here and not over there uh, but some of them are in decent condition so we have six seven of these and uh, seven of these a piece I mean seven of these mercuries tolling $26.53 so we'll put that over here next what we got in line and uh, we're gonna come over here to our barber half dollars so we got our barber half dollars over here and let me organize this a little bit better anyways we got our uh, barber half dollars some of them are in great condition very readable and Honestly, these are the only barbers that I have in my collection that are actually readable. Uh, so anyways, we have dates from 1907, 1910, 1912, 1913, 1914, 1907, 1914D, and 1911. This is, uh, I guess you could say, the worst looking condition. Uh, the other side does, is actually a lot better. But our eight barbers puts us at $37.92. So we're going to put that over here. Now we're going to come across and we're going to start with our next collection. So we're going to choose uh, this right here, our Standing Liberties. So we have several Standing Liberties. Got 1929, 27, 28S, 26, 28, in uh, okay condition, readable. Pretty much majority of the dates are readable. You can. This is the only one that's uh, pretty difficult to tell what it is but if you pay if you look close attention it's better to see in person than in camera but this is a 1929 uh, you can barely see it but other than that these are in okay condition standing liberties and we have I believe six of them six of them putting us at $48 um, a piece I mean $48 all together so we'll put that stack away Alrighty, and next on our collection, we have, let's go to our barber half, I mean our barber quarters. So we come over here, we go to our barber quarters, we're going to lay them all out, boom, boom, boom. We got 1909, 1904, 1915, 16, 15, 01, 1912, 1908, and 1908. Oh. 
So we got two 19080s and these if here let me see cuz you guys probably have never seen a 19 I mean a quarter barber and this is what they used to look like. Here's this side and the opposite side. Boom. There she is. A uh, better condition some of these are in decent condition and let me see this back side is a little bit better uh, but these are some of them are rough condition some of them are decent uh, I want to say this one's one of the best ones in, in, the, in that in that condition so we have over four five so we have nine uh, barber quarters putting us at seventy nine dollars and sixty five cents so we're gonna put these away now So what do we got next on the list? So now we got two key dates, barber quarters. We have a 19050. We have a 19050. And I looked this one up. This is uh, only 1.2 million minted. And this is uh, worth $46. Pretty interesting. And then we have another, I guess this is the key date. I looked it up, 1911, this puts us at, I want to say, before I get it wrong, this puts us at 33 bucks, just right here on the sticker. So that is what we have, that's our key dates. So now we come across over here, these are our barber half dollars, and we got several. We got a 1901. We have a 1904, 1899, 1903, and 1911. So, you guys never seen a half dollar barber before? Here it is. And this one is an absolute beaut. See the full rim, both sides. You could even see E pluribus unum. Absolutely stunning. Um, one of my favorite half dollars. So anyways, this right here, pretty much about 20 to $21 a piece. So two, four, six, eight, ten, over a hundred dollars. Um, and just half dollars right here. All right. So that's, this is all our finish. The only thing we have left is this stack, this stack and our other stack. So we have a 1953 uh, BU Benjamin half dollar in great condition, worth about 15 bucks. Now this one is a pretty one right here. I'm gonna show you guys this one. So we got 1953. Now we have a 1912. And guys, please pay attention to the detail. Here I'm gonna zoom in. We have a 1912 D. Liberty nickel. This is a five cent coin. And just pay attention here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Focus. Look at the detail. Look how stunning and absolutely beautiful condition. You can see the crown where it says Liberty. Look at that, just absolutely amazing condition, uncirculated. And the, here's the other side. It looks like it was just minted yesterday. So I looked this up right here, and guys, this right here, this nickel is worth 100 bucks. 100 bucks, anywhere from 90 to $132. This is a $100 nickel right here absolutely stunning uh, I am even thinking about grading it this right here I won't sell I will just keep in my collection then over here we have a 1943 D steel penny ain't worth too much right here but it's a BU it looks in beautiful condition real shiny uh, you guys probably never seen this before but in, in anyways just a quick little history lesson in World War II they needed the copper for war so they decided to mint the pennies from i believe correct me if i'm wrong from 1942 to 1943 
uh, they were making pennies with steel instead of copper. Now, get this guys, if you guys can find a 1943, or is it 1944? If you guys can find a 1944, anyways, this is what a steel penny looks like, and it's pretty cool looking, worth about $3.22. Looked it up, and that's what they go for. So now we have a 1936S uh, minted in San Francisco quarter, ain't nothing special, pretty cool quarter. Um, silver right here, and this right here would go for about $6.70. $6 All righty, now we got our Morgans. We got our beautiful 1887, very fine condition. Not very fine, but in great condition. Uh, Morgan dollar. So we got this one here. We have a second one here. And we have an 1887 O minted in New Orleans. Dollar. Worth about $45 a piece right here. So $45 a piece. Now, that is pretty much it, guys. But guess what? I haven't looked over here yet. Now, this is where I'm going to need your guys' assistance and help and your expertise if you guys know anything about ancient coins. So we got to go over here. I'm not quite sure what this is right here. Uh, it looks like a Roman coin. I'll try to get in some information on it, and it's going to be a tough one. Don't know if this is worth anything. Don't even know what kind of material is made out of. Don't look like silver, but it's pretty difficult to tell what exactly it is, but it's a pretty interesting coin. My opinion. Again, I'm not an expert. Maybe this was be, uh, minted before Christ, BC. Definitely old. Now this one, now this is the coin that I'm excited about, that I want to see if it's real. If this coin is real, it's probably worth something, but we don't know if it is. But this right here, we have what we think it is. We're not sure. But this looks like a Roman, they call it Roman Republic Denarius. And they believe this is anywhere from 125 to 200 BC. We're not 100% sure. I've done a little bit of research. There is some info on this coin. But here is this side of the coin. Here, let's see if we can get better detail. Let me get better lighting. There we go. All righty. Here's what the, here's what this side looks like. You look like two men on horses, on two horses. And you look on this side. I believe that's what they call denarius. Don't know if I'm even pronouncing it right, guys. I know nothing about this coin. Don't know, even know if it's legit or real. But if it is, possibly silver. I've already used my magnets, and it's not sticking to it. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. And that is pretty much it, guys. So totaling, I spent $560 on this uh, auction lot. $560. After tolling, except for these two coins, these ancient coins, after tolling every single one of these uh, coins that I have in my lot, I came out to 690. So I bought this for $543 or $546, and I came out at damn near 700 bucks. So did your boy do decent? I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> if, if this is worth something, let's just say 100, 200, 300, or even more bucks right here, your boy did hella good. But guys, do you guys know what this coin is? Do you have any insight? Do you know if it's worth something? Or do you guys have any knowledge about this coin? They said, I've been doing my research on it. I'm trying to get uh, more info, but I'm going to have 
to get an expert to see uh, what their thoughts and their opinion about this coin. But anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. I will be doing more of these kind of style videos. If you guys do enjoy them, I'll keep putting my money, getting in an auction, getting in more debt. <laughs> I'm just playing. And, uh, and to see what co crazy coins we're getting. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps it up today. All right, guys, peace.